Now to a remarkable discovery in the Detroit River. An animal once believed to be extinct in our area has reappeared. As CTV's Cedar Lou tells us, this once-in-a-century sighting reveals a lot about our environment. Swimming uh, across right about here. Eric St. Marie was walking along the Detroit River last Monday when he noticed something unusual. We see something brown in the water furry and, and usually when I see something furry in the water I assume it's a mink or a, a muskrat. Which but as a PhD biology student at the University of Windsor, St. Marie knew better. But as it got closer I realized it was much too large to be um, either of those. It turns out this furry creature popping its head up is a river otter and this video captured by St. Marie will go down in history. You know it's the first sighting or proof of a river otter in the Detroit River in over a hundred years. River otters were common hundreds of years ago during the fur trades, but they were over harvested, which caused them to become locally extinct. Then in the 1940s to 70s, the Detroit River became one of the most polluted rivers in the United States due to oil spills. And oil would mat their fur and they couldn't thermal regulate, they couldn't keep warm and they would die. So they couldn't have survived during those years. In the mid 80s, river otters were reintroduced in Ohio and have spread across the region. These animals are picky about where they live, only feeling comfortable in clean water. This is a statement that the Detroit River is cleaner. And then the good news for you and me is that if it's cleaner for a river otter, it's cleaner for us as well. A fleeting glimpse of a rare river otter now leaves behind a lasting reminder for the community. The river is now cleaner for river otter, um, and that gives us all hope that we all can make a difference in better caring for the place we call home. As for St. Marie, he will be keeping his eyes peeled on the Detroit River for anything Otter the Ordinary and suggests you do too. I'm always ready. I'm going to be scanning for otters probably for uh, the rest of my time here in Windsor. So I'll, uh, hopefully I'll see it again and hopefully other people will get to see it as well. Cija Lou, CTV News.